Hey guys, Mario here. Just wanted to go through a video of a calibration I was asked to do. Um, I believe his name is uh, username on Heli Freaks is Stuky5. Um, he wanted a video on how to calibrate uh, Castle ESC using the AR7200 on his 360 CFX. Um, so I said, sure, I will do a video, no problem. Um, what I do to start out is set up the transmitter making sure that AR7200 is going to see 100 high and 100 low. That's very important. Make sure that's set up. Also go to your throttle curve. Make sure that you have a linear uh, throw on your throttle curve. Um, don't set it up to 75 flat or 100 flat or 80. Just make sure it's linear. 0 to 100. Once you've done that, transmitter is set up for the beginning process. Next thing you would want to do is your ESC cable, before you plug it in, you want to remove the power wire. Reason being, we can't have two power sources at once. This uh, particular castle does have its own built-in BEC, so we'll remove that red wire. Push it out of the way, that way it doesn't touch anything. Do not plug it back in just yet. We'll have to wait. Next thing you'll need is your own power source. Um, since these servos do support uh, 6 volts, I could plug in a larger battery, but I'm going to use a 1 cell just to keep it safe. It will power up, it'll run through its initialization, it'll do everything it needs to for this calibration. So once we do that, we're going to let it cal um, initialize the AR7200 before we do anything else. And you can do auxiliary tube, bind channel, any other port that's open. And remember that the power wire, which is the white in this case, ground wire, they're going to go exactly like this, top and bottom. And you're going to use the uh, middle pin and lower pin on the AR7200 to power it up. Go ahead and do it. let it do its thing. It'll initialize. Once that's done, connect the ESC cable back into the AR7200 in the throttle channel. Making sure this is clear, out of the way. Also, you're going to make sure that it's back in the way you took it out. Signal on top, ground on the bottom. Once that's done, go ahead and power up. I'm sorry. You'll go into the servo setup, and you're going to drop from 100 to 50. In your throttle setup, also raise up the throttle, drop the high end to 50. Okay leave it there also raise the throttle to its highest position and you're going to plug in the battery while leaving the throttle on high so that it lets the ESC know it's going into calibration mode all right once it's there go ahead and start raising from 50 and up until you hear the initialize uh, the calibration high endpoint. Okay, so we'll go two more. Now we'll lower the throttle. Start raising that one also. Give it two more. So now your travel is set up where it needs to be. Your ESC is calibrated. And reverse this process. You'll go ahead and turn off the LiPo, the main LiPo. Then you'll disconnect the power wire. 
nothing is live, remove the throttle cable and install the power wire from your ESC back into its slot. Make sure that it goes in completely and then it clicks, push it down, pull back just a couple tugs making sure that it is seated properly and then continue to install into the throttle channel on the AR7200. Once you're done with that, I recommend going back and doing the binding process. That way the failsafe knows its high and low endpoints. Thank you for watching. I hope uh, you like it. Thanks. Bye-bye.